Now, there's a book called Accelerate from the uh, Dora Foundation. And of course, they've been acquired by Google since. But um, in, in that book, they referenced the, uh, the latest at the time of publishing, the latest state of DevOps report. And one of the findings was that elite performers, that is elite software teams, have a seven times lower change failure rate and over 2,000 times faster time to recovery from incidents. So seven times lower failure rate of putting something into production. And then if something happens in production, if something goes awry, recovering from that is not just twice as fast, 2,000 times faster. Okay? That's insane. So just get the basics in place. And, and even if you don't get to the 2,000 times faster this year, wouldn't it be great to be twice as fast, 10 times as fast, 100 times as fast? So start, start plugging away. And one of those ways is to get those, the basics of DevOps automation in place. And the uh, latest survey from, from uh, earlier this year, 2023, the, the state of continuous delivery from the slash data survey was those who use continuous integration and deployment tools are significantly less likely to be low performers, okay? So we can see just in lead time for code change, the graph on the left, the, the teams that are using CI CD tools um, have, for, for the ones that have less than one day lead time for a code change, there's more of them use CI CD tools, okay? So the green bar is better on all of the short lead times. And then the more than a month lead time, um, not using those, there, there's more people who don't use them that have those longer, more than a month lead times, okay? Let's touch on monitoring, self-diagnostics. Every software system that your teams run in production needs to have an operations dashboard, a, a command center. It needs to have a, a, a NASA-like dashboard of what it's doing. And this is just one example of a chart that you would want to look for. You'd want to know what your software is doing. This happens to be from an online auction system. And this, this happens to have more, uh, more usage on weekends. And so you can see some of the seasonality where a few of the events were selected, where a buyer was registered, or we're going to submit a new bid. There's more of those events happening on the weekends than in the middle of the week. So you can see um, see that going. But at the same time, from July to August, you can see an increase in overall usage on the weekend auction events. And of course, the green check marks at the top are times when uh, a system the system was deployed to production. And so there's all kinds of metrics that you need to be pulling and looking for when you're when your system is running in production so that you can correlate them together. And if one of those goes sideways out of threshold, you need to have automated real-time alerts so that you find issues a lot faster. So put in place your dashboard for real-time monitoring and self-diagnostics.